Hello football lovers, especially Chelsea fans. Let me introduce myself, my name is Yubi Pawada. As usual, I will provide the latest and most updated news that I have summarized for you. But before that, I want to remind you, don't forget to subscribe so you always get notifications every day. As usual before we start, I would like to thank those who have commented on my previous videos. Thanks to Pagar Sulimankesi, Thomas Entwi, Raphael Jabaku from Ghana, Simon Tata, John Herbertson from Nigeria, Francis Bright from South Africa, Ahmed Nairobi from South Africa, Alfred from the USA, Blizzy Kaira, Jos Fatanjanji from Zambia, Mukubesa from Zambia, Alabi Idris, Idrissa Dean from Sierra Leone, Kamara from Sierra Leone, Martin Exodus Bukenya from Uganda, Murray Edwards, Innocent Sitali Tabo from Kuchalo, Zambia, Martin Exodus Bukenya from Uganda, Jonathan from Zambia, Dominic Mwangeka, Alim Kamis from USA, Kelvin Sunday Raymond, Franklin Bruce, Amin Conte, Ali Mimi Bobson Kamara from Sierra Leone, Kingsley Emmanuel Okugbo, Abdulaziz Salihu, Akanbi Opeyemi from Nigeria, Timothy Ogbona, Jafat, Tamarat from Ethiopia, Abi Adaka, Imo Sunday from Nigeria, Jesse Barchu from Liberia, Blasius Azobi, Michael Taylor, Joseph James from Nigeria, Zara Ali, Makinwa Alafia from Nigeria, Dali Sotembo, David Forms Nigeria, Adedayo Samuel Oladele, Seun from Nigeria, Eyong Son Emmanuel Okwe, Adedayo Duniyi, Kelvin Mwaura, Ovi David Otovo, Amosu Kehinde from Nigeria, Christ Cruz, Pascal from Nigeria, Nicardo Stevenson, Afiza Deola, Gabriela Gogo from Nigeria, Lolo Fukis, Santosa Lobo from Gulu City, Uganda, Aloyokeja, Namdi from Nigeria, John Ewuzi, Pascal Nobel, Yushao Adewole, Okoro Henry, Isaac James, Eze Solomon Arinze, Leonhard Kashati, Ibanga Edem, Oscar Harerimana from Burundi, Onuhmiki, Lee Habibullah Abubakar Siddiq from Nigeria, Ghana, Asan Jarju, Adedayo Samuel Oladele, Okello Benard, MBS Monsong from India, Palasau Haka, Benjamin Asabil, J. West from Jamaica, Adedayo Samuel Oladele from Nigeria, Rashid Katuki, Victor Christopher. And all friends can leave comments below this video so I can mention it in the next video. Thank you and enjoy watching. Today we look at Chelsea's 2023-2024 campaign, which has been filled with uncertainty, disappointment, and injuries. However, under the leadership of Enzo Maresca, Chelsea appear to be finding their feet again. One of the key factors in Chelsea's revival under Maresca has been the reduction in injury problems that plagued them at the start of the season. Last year, the absence list often reached double figures. But so far, Chelsea's star players have remained fit. Now. Let's take a look at the latest injury news after the October international break. Rhys James. Injury, hamstring. Potential return date, October 20th, 2024, against Liverpool. Rhys James has a long history of injuries, and this season is no exception. He has missed the entire season after suffering a hamstring injury in early August while serving a suspension. However, the good news is that James is edging closer to a return to the squad and is likely to compete with Malo Gusto for the right back spot. Chelsea will be cautious in his recovery, but there is a chance he could feature against Liverpool this weekend. Should he miss out again, he would join Mark Cucurella and Wesley Fofana, who are also suspended. Omari Kellyman, injury, hamstring, potential return date, November. Omari Kellyman, who arrived from Aston Villa in the summer, has spent more time in the treatment room than on the pitch. He is currently nursing a hamstring problem and is likely to be out until November. Carney Chukwemeka. Injury. Illness. Potential return date. October 20th, 2024. Against Liverpool. Carney Chukwemeka has also been affected by the injury curse in West London. He has made just one appearance this season in the 5-0 Carabao Cup win over Barrow. Unfortunately, he missed the last two games before the international break due to illness but he is expected to be available to play against Liverpool. Whether he will be in the squad remains to be seen. So, that's the latest on Chelsea's injury news after the international break. Let's hope they recover quickly and can make their mark on the team. Next, we will discuss an interesting prediction from former Liverpool star, Emil Heskey, regarding Chelsea who could be a serious contender for the Premier League title this season. 
Chelsea under Enzo Maresca have started the season very well. Currently, they are in fourth place with 14 points. They have not lost since the first day of the league. Maresca, who was recently named September's manager of the month in the Premier League, showed that his team has a clear identity and style of play. However, a big challenge awaits Chelsea. In the next four matches, they will face tough teams such as Liverpool, Newcastle, Manchester United, and Arsenal. These matches will be the real test to find out how good this team is and what they can achieve this season. Heskey believes Chelsea can be a disruptor in the title race. He even said that they could compete in a four-way race for the championship. I think Chelsea are a team that can be a disruptive influence this season, said Heskey. This is certainly an interesting statement, considering that they are currently in positive form. With 16 goals, Chelsea are the second highest scorers in the league, behind only Manchester City. What's more, they have young talent in Cole Palmer, who sporting director Paul Winstonley believes has the potential to win the Ballon d'Or in the future. Chelsea have surprised many with their early season form. While a return to the Champions League is the main priority, many are starting to consider them as title contenders. If Chelsea can get a positive result in this run of games, perhaps more people will put them in the title conversation. So, do you agree with Heskey's predictions? Can Chelsea really challenge for the Premier League title? Leave a comment below. Next, we will discuss the interesting news regarding the possibility of Victor Osimhen's transfer to Chelsea, which could be a big move for the club. Former Chelsea player Florent Malouda believes that Osimhen could be a key figure in turning Chelsea into Premier League title contenders if he joins in the January transfer window. Chelsea have indeed been eyeing the Nigerian striker for a long time and had explored a deal to bring him to Stamford Bridge last summer. Unfortunately, Osimhen chose to join Galatasaray on loan. However, Osimhen's performance in Turkey has been quite promising. He has scored two goals and provided four assists in six appearances. There are rumors that his loan could be terminated early if Napoli receive an adequate offer. According to reports, Osimhen could be released for around 68 million pounds, opening up the opportunity for Chelsea to recruit him. Malauda said, he is the type of player who can add quality to this team. If there is an opportunity to bring him in January, the club should consider it. If Chelsea can stay competing at the top, adding Osimhen to the squad in January would give us a very interesting second half of the season. With a lower price tag than expected in the summer, Osimhen could be a strategic move for Chelsea to increase their competitiveness. Maluda also noted that the Nigerian player would send a big message to other top teams in the Premier League. From Maluda's statement, it is clear how important this transfer is for Chelsea. If Osimhen joins, his quality can lift the team's performance and bring Chelsea into a more serious title hunt. Next up is the latest on Chelsea star Ben Chilwell, who is reportedly open to a move back to Leicester City amid his increasingly limited role at Stamford Bridge. According to football transfers, Leicester City, who have recently been promoted back to the Premier League, are planning to re-sign the former academy product. During his time at Chelsea, he added the Champions League and UEFA Super Cup to his trophy hall. However, Chilwell's Chelsea career has come under scrutiny, especially after his limited playing time under new manager Enzo Maresca. Although he previously served as vice-captain, his position and status in the team appear to be different. Reports suggest that Maresca has told Chilwell that he is not part of the team's plans going forward, prompting him to seek other opportunities. With Leicester showing an interest in bringing Chilwell back, manager Steve Cooper is monitoring the situation ahead of the January transfer window. A return to the club that raised him could be a win-win move for both him and Leicester. The question now is whether Chilwell will leave Chelsea. Despite his contract running until 2027, it appears Chelsea are open to exploring the option of a move for the player. The saga will continue to develop as the January transfer window approaches and Chilwell's future could have a major impact on how Chelsea and Leicester plan their squads for the second half of the season. From a Chelsea fan's perspective, the news of Chilwell's potential departure could have mixed reactions. On the one hand, he has shown his class on numerous occasions, and his contribution to the team's success, particularly in the Champions League, has seen him become a key player. However, with a lack of game time and stiff competition from new signings such as Mark Cucurella, a move could be a necessary step in order to regain regular playing time. What do you think about the situation? 
Should Chilwell leave for the sake of his career? Or should Chelsea fight to keep him? Leave a comment below. Next, we will discuss interesting news about Chelsea and Barcelona. Two Chelsea players, Romeo Lavia and Carney Chukwemeka, are being targeted by the Catalan club ahead of the January transfer window. Barcelona, under the direction of Hansi Flick, have performed impressively at the start of the season, despite many players in midfield being injured, including Dani Olmo and Fermin Lopez. However, with the return of several players, Flick expressed satisfaction with his midfield choices. Even so, Barcelona plans to strengthen their squad with the improving financial situation. According to a report from Sport, Lavia and Chukwemeka could be ideal choices for Barcelona, especially if one of them is allowed to leave on loan in January. Deco, the head of Barcelona, has long admired Lavia, who previously joined Chelsea in 2023. On the other hand, Chukwemeka has been offered to Barcelona in the summer, and it is possible that they will try to recruit him again in the upcoming transfer window. The current situation at Chelsea does indicate that they could consider the departure of the two players. Enzo Maresca has made Enzo Fernandez and Moises Caicedo his preferred midfield pairing, meaning Lavia has only managed 77 minutes of league action this season, while Chukwemeka has featured for just 14 minutes in the Carabao Cup. With new signings Kiernan Dewsbury Hall and Cesare Casade also competing for game time, Chelsea could be open to allowing one of their midfielders to leave in January. Maresca has previously stated his preference for Chukwemeka to go out on loan, which could put Barcelona in a position to make a move for the 20-year-old. Meanwhile, despite Chelsea spending over 60 million euros on Lavia, they may be reluctant to let him go given his current form, especially given his role as cover for Caicedo and Fernandez. What do you think? Should Chelsea let either of these two players go? Leave a comment below. Next up, we have the big news that has Chelsea fans even more excited. Thomas Tuchel has been officially appointed as England manager, and this is a moment that has been highly anticipated. The news came quickly and was officially confirmed. Many Chelsea fans responded enthusiastically, and I feel the same as a Blues fan. Of course, not everyone took the news positively. Some media outlets, such as the Daily Mail, called it a dark day for English football. However, I think that opinion is very exaggerated and unfounded. For those who are not Chelsea fans, there may be doubts, especially because Tuchel is a German coach. However, for Chelsea fans who also support the England national team, there is great hope that Tuchel will do great things for England. Moreover, there are two current Chelsea players who will definitely benefit from Tuchel's arrival. In his statement, Tuchel admitted that he was nervous, but he emphasized his intention to win trophies. He mentioned his desire to add a new star to the national team jersey, referring to the dream of winning the World Cup. Remember, England have only ever won one major trophy in their history, the 1966 World Cup. Now is the time for England to become more dominant on the world stage, and Tuchel could be the man to bring that change. We are very excited to see what Tuchel can do for England. It is an exciting start, and we are all eager to see how he can develop this team. So. What do you think of Thomas Tuchel's appointment? Are you optimistic about the future of the England team under his leadership? Leave a comment below. Next, we will discuss interesting news about Newcastle United, who are monitoring Chelsea's young talent, Josh Akimpong. According to a report from The Independent, Newcastle is not the only club interested. Liverpool, Tottenham, and Spanish giants, Real Madrid, are also eyeing the 18-year-old defender. Real Madrid reportedly plans to make an offer in January, as a replacement for Danny Carvajal, who has an ACL injury. Josh Akimpong is a Chelsea Academy product, who has shown his potential. He made his debut in the senior team under manager Mauricio Pochettino, and recently appeared again in the match against Barrow in the Carabao Cup. Newcastle themselves need young players to replace Kieran Trippier, whose contract will end this season. Will Newcastle succeed in recruiting Josh Akimpong? Leave your opinion in the comments column. 